Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of our most high, wonderful, awesome, phenomenal God in heaven. All at one time. Can I invite you to stand to your feet if you're under the sound of my voice, if you're in the congregation with us? Praise God. It's a special evening that we're here for this uh, time together that we're sharing. It's our Christmas program, and we want to be intentional about getting it started. And we're so grateful to have every single person who is here with us present in the assembly. Of course, I know we have some people joining us at home online, and I'm coming to you, but you look so beautiful and 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 i want to make sure that we can have an atmosphere of unity in one accord so two things we're going to do very quickly first for those who are in the first couple rows i want you to just turn around to the people behind you and just give them a, a, a motion a wave just just like this so that they know that they're welcome we want you to know if you're sitting in the back you are most welcome to join us a little bit closer no pressure you can stay where you are but it's always going to be an intimate time together in special moments like these. So I'm inviting you, if you'd like to move a little bit closer, you can do that. We're going to make this evening very special. But uh, while that's happening, and while you're standing, I had a very uh, special conversation with our pastor this evening. And he said something that I felt was worth sharing with us before we get started. He had mentioned the, the idea that, you know, in the family of faith, people who are saved washed under the blood, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. What we celebrate a lot is the cross. We spend a lot of time focused on the cross where our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died for our sins. And it's a very special and monumental thing to celebrate. We take nothing away from it. However, a lot of times we don't give the same level of attention, the same level of her, um, you know, praise and admiration to his birth, him coming into the world at the appointed time. Do you get me? You're following me? You're with me? It's a very special, wonderful thing that happened when the virgin birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through Mary came to pass. And that's one of the, uh, the reasons why we're here. It's, it's, a, it's a very special thing. And so what I want to do together, I want to give us an opportunity to close our eyes and be mindful of that. We're going to launch with a hallelujah shout because I want it to come from a place of understanding and awareness of what the Lord has done through birth, the, the, the virgin birth and, and coming into the world. Does that make sense? We want to do that in one accord. Can, can I ask that you close your eyes? I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Just meditate upon the birth of our Lord and Savior for a quick second. Think about that wonderful moment. Think about that awesome, beautiful time that was prophesied about. All of the prophets had spoken about a time to come that our Lord and Savior would enter into the world. They didn't know at what time. They didn't know how it would happen. But then Mary was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. And that holy thing was formed in her. And it was given the name Jesus Christ who we now know as our Lord and Savior. What a wonderful thing it is. Praise God. And now because we've had an opportunity to think on it, now because we've had an opportunity to spend a little time, I wonder if while we're all together being mindful about this, we can lift our voice with a great shout of hallelujah onto our King. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah for such a wonderful thing that you came into the earth for such a sinner as myself, as those under the sound of my voice. Mighty God, we love you for it and we worship you for it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wow. I can feel the love in the atmosphere. Let's get a round of applause. Jesus is the reason for the season. If you believe that, let's get a very serious, intentional round of applause. Not because we're here, not because it's time, but because Jesus came. He really did. Praise the name of the Lord. You can feel free to take your seat. I'm seeing some of the Christmas sweaters and the awesome smiles. It's a beautiful thing to be in the house of the Lord. I know we have some people online. We want to say how much we appreciate you, how much we love you. Thank you so much for tuning in, being patient with us, and of course, uh, being present for what the Lord plans to do in our Christmas evening service. 
uh, holiday special. And this is the warmest welcome being sent to you and your household from our pastor, from the ministers, from everybody who works behind the scenes at APC. We love you. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for being here uh, this evening with us. Go ahead and like the broadcast cast right now. You can do that. We really appreciate that. It helps the ministry. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, we want to encourage you to do that as well. And um, this is just a very, uh, really quickly, um, one or two announcements about the holiday season. And then, of course, we're going to get into some praise and worship. Uh, this evening is actually the last evening that we're accepting donations for the women's shelter. And uh, you've heard about this over the last uh, little while, so I'm not going to go into it. But we want to encourage you to please do take part. If you have anything that you want to uh, leave for the women's shelter, there's some boxes in the foyer. And, of course, you can make sure to bring those, leave them. We're going to make sure they get into the right place in to the right hands and make some uh, families feel a little bit better this uh, holiday season. So I want to encourage you, uh, be mindful of that as we go forward. And of course, our Christmas schedule, um, if you're at home, you're probably seeing that on your screen right now. I think uh, for those who are in the uh, house of the Lord with me this evening, of course, I want to mention that you can find this information on our website. You can go to apcpickering.com forward slash events. You'll be able to see the dates, the times, the different things that we're going to be uh, celebrating together as a community, as a family. We want to encourage encourage you to be present with us and of course uh, spend some time with your APC family as we uh, celebrate the holiday season together and if you have any prayer requests uh, definitely please make sure that you know as much as we're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior as much as we might have some fun as much as we might be dancing and uh, spending a special and intentional time together we do want you to know that the Lord is here and that he will certainly be able to attend to your need this specific evening and of course throughout the holiday season. So please don't hold your request back. If you're at home, uh, let that be known in the chat. We'll make sure that we can include that in the prayers that are going up and uh, we know for sure the Lord will hear and respond. The reading of the week really quickly. Um, we're trying our best to stay together through all the stuff that's happening in the holidays and uh, just in case you weren't aware, Second Peter is where we are. We're starting from chapter 1. We're moving into chapter 3, and then we're going into 1 John. So it's 2 Peter 1 to 3, then we're going into 1 John 1 to 3. Do your very best to stay with us as we read, as we stay together in the word of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to stand. We're going to get into the, the praise and the worship this evening. We are going to be led by our praise team, but we're going to fill the house with praise. Every single seat, every single pew that has a soul sitting in it, we're expecting your voice to be heard your hands to be lifted, and of course, your worship to be going up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's do this together as we go forward.
adore Jesus. Hallelujah. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. He is the reason for the season. And that is why we come to sing unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We come to adore him. His name is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. Say, oh, come, oh, come, for ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Say, the voices with me in the congregation Christ the Lord that's why we're here you know that's why we're here this evening right Christ the Lord. it's probably gonna sound better if you say it all the way in the back Christ the Lord all the way in the back on this side Christ 
Now I'm not saying it with you. I want to hear it come from you guys alone. A few more times. Like only he can hear you. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. Soak in this moment of worship. Just soak it in. Don't let it pass. Everything we do, we do with understanding. We're intentional about all of what we're saying, what we're singing, who we're singing unto. It's Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Christ most high. The anointed one, our Savior and soon coming King. Hallelujah. How many of you guys know we have a special evening planned for you this evening? Yes, we do. 100%. If you didn't know, I'm putting you on notice. There's a few things that are really going to bless your spirit. Something for everybody. And... Um, to see me looking at my phone because I'm going to make sure that I get all of the introductions right. The next people that you're going to see is an, an, an incredible group. It's a, a mix of all ages. It's our APC dance team and they're going to give you a ministry specifically handcrafted for this evening to celebrate our king in the ministry of dance and then following we're going to hear from a dear brother of ours brother samuel mckenzie he's going to sing unto the lord you're going to be blessed i can promise you turn to at least one person and say you're going to be blessed praise the name of the lord i want to invite our dance team out so that they can take us away and lead us into the next section here and i leave you to them in jesus precious name tonight glory glory to the land we give all the glory to the lamb Jesus is his name we give glory to the lamb for he is he's the beginning Holy is he, holy is he, so is he. 
21 says, and she shall bring forth a son, and we would call his name Jesus. Why? Because he would save us from our sins. I thank God for Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, we wouldn't be here today. We bless him. We give him all the reverence, the glory, and honor.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you know me, you know I'm a little dramatic, so I need you to stand to your feet because when the dance team watches this back, I need them to see us clap for them with intentionality, knowing that we were blessed and appreciative of this ministry. I'm going to have you keep clapping. Don't stop anytime soon. On behalf of the APC Congregation Dance Team, we're carving this moment out to you to let you know how much we appreciate you, how much of a blessing you were this evening to us. All of the age groups, I need their leaders to give them hugs and just let them know how much they were a blessing to us. That was phenomenal. That was wonderful. Praise the name of the Lord. And how about our brother Samuel McKenzie? Oh man. Oh man, oh man, you know when you're celebrating Jesus, you can't do it half-heartedly. You got to bring the very best of the best. And so that's why we love community. That's why we love nights like these because the uh, ministry has prepared that just for us. You can feel free to be seated. Praise the name of the Lord. We have some more special items for this evening. It's going to carry us. You're just going to feel like you're on angelic wings as different things come and minister to you. This night is all about lifting Jesus Christ and letting him know how much we appreciate him. And so the next family that's coming to us is a very special family to the APC community. It's uh, the Perez family. Lady Perez, her two daughters, they're going to be singing to us and then they're going to be followed by another very familiar face, Sister Crystal her daughter Anastasia, they're going to come and bless us as well. Let's give them a round of applause. Praise God as they come to us. Praise the Lord, everyone. All right, so we're going to share some thoughts about Christmas uh, in Spanish, but my wife is going to translate uh, for you guys. Here we go. El nacimiento, muerte y resurrección de Cristo son los eventos más importantes de la historia humana. The birth, death, and resurrection of Christ are the most important events in human history. Todos los milagros, liberación, salvación que experimentamos no serían posibles si no fuera por el nacimiento de Jesús, nuestro Rey y Salvador. All the miracles, deliverance, and salvation that we have experienced would not be possible if it were not for the birth of Jesus, our King and Savior. Como cristianos debemos tener bien claro que lo más importante de la celebración de hoy es la exaltación del amor de Dios que se ha hecho uno con nosotros. As Christian, we must be clear that the most important thing in today's celebration is the exaltation of God's love who has become like us. Dios se ha hecho presente en nuestra humanidad. Él ha tomado la forma de un niño inocente en un pesebre y Él es el centro de este día. Los ángeles fueron a anunciar a los pastores con, an, con gran alegría este maravilloso acontecimiento. God has become present in our humanity. He has taken the form of an innocent child in a manger, and he is the center of this day. The angels went to announce that the shepherds with great joy this wonderful event. No tengan miedo porque les traigo una buena noticia, una gran alegría para todo el pueblo. Hoy ha nacido un Salvador, el Mesías, el Señor. Esta es la buena noticia, la gran alegría para todo el pueblo, la buena noticia que da respuesta a los anhelos más profundos de los hombres y mujeres de todos los tiempos. Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news, a great joy of all people. Today, a Savior has been born to us, the Messiah, the Lord. This is the good news the great joy for all the other people. The good news that, respo that responds to the deepest longings of men or women of all the time. Celebramos Navidad porque como el ángel dijo, el nacimiento de Cristo es buena noticia. Buenas nuevas es para celebrar. 
We celebrate Christmas because, as the angels say, the birth of Christ is good news. Good news is to celebrate. Celebramos Navidad porque como el ángel dijo, un Salvador ha nacido. Él es el Mesías, el Señor. We celebrate Christmas because, as the angels said, a Savior is born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Celebramos la Navidad con luces porque Jesús, Jesucristo, es la luz del mundo que ha venido a nosotros. We celebrate Christmas with light because Jesus is the light of the world who has come to us. Celebramos Navidad con villancicos y coros como expresión de gozo y seguimos el ejemplo de María, Zacarías y Simeón y los ángeles quienes exaltaron al Señor con poesías como lo describe el libro de Lucas capítulos 1 y 2. We celebrate Christmas with, with carols and choir as an expression of joy and follow the example of Mary, Zechariah, and Simeon and the angels who exalted the Lord with poetry as described in the book of Luke 1, 2. Así que, acompáñenos a cantar a nuestro Señor. So let us sing to the Lord. El camino que lleva a Belén Baja hasta el valle que la nieve cubrió Los pastorcillos quieren ver a su rey Le traen regalos en su miel de zurrón Robo bom bom, robo bom bom. Ha nacido en un portal de Belén el niño Dios. Yo quisiera poner a sus pies algún presente. Señor, mas tú ya sabes que soy pobre también y no poseo más que mi corazón. Yo te lo doy al redentor. En honor frente al portal tocaré con mi tambor. El camino que lleva a Belén Yo voy marcando con mi viejo tambor Nada hay mejor que yo te puedo ofrecer Su ronco acento es un carta de amor Ropo bombón, ropo bombón Praise the name of the Lord. How we doing so far? How we doing so far? In the back, how we doing over here? Everything is blessed in the, in the house of the Lord this evening. We're loving what the Lord has planned and prepared for us this evening. Wonderful, wonderful. And at home, we just want to make sure you know that again, this is such an awesome thing that we can share together. Thank you so much for being with us. And of course, we know you're being blessed by all of the things that we've prepared for you. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it rolling. Another very special family, Sister Crystal, her daughter Anastasia, and her mother, Sister Ioni. Three generations, all at the same time, lifting up the name of the Lord. Let's welcome them with the hand clap of praise.
All right, bless God. We're gonna we're gonna try to do a. Here we go. We're gonna have like a generations thing here going on. Um, we we are very grateful to the Lord for this opportunity. Love Christmas time very much, and um, I think we sing around the house a lot. So we're gonna see if uh, if we can do this together here. And please feel free to sing along with us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. If you weren't here to see it, you might not believe how special hearing from a family singing about the Lord can actually make you feel, specifically in the holiday season. If you believe that, I just want you to say, I believe that out loud. Praise God. And it's phenomenal being able to host with you this evening. This is wonderful. I'm so glad to be here with you. And of course, I think the next uh, special guest is going to give us no less than what we've been receiving this evening. Another very familiar face, um, Sister Keshiana Rainford Wallace is going to come and bless us in song to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's let her hear it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. <laughs> I'm nervous, so if you guys want to sing with me, you guys can. <laughs>
Stand to your feet. Let's let the Lord hear his praise. As unto the Most High, as unto the King of Kings, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Mary, did you know by one of our very own and how wonderful it is. When you hear somebody who has the ability to take the song to a place, makes you sit in your seat, want to know if you could do the same thing. Mary, did you know? <laughs> I don't have it like Keshiana. I promise I won't do that to you. You can feel free to be seated. You can see who's behind me. The wonderful children's choir of APC. Can we make some noise? Can, can we... I want you guys to know that this noise that's being made is because we love and appreciate you. We know you're going to do phenomenal. Don't we know they're going to do phenomenal? Oh, man, I'm so excited for this. And I also want to say how much we appreciate Sister Seneca, Sister Katie Ann. They do such a wonderful, phenomenal job managing, taking care of, and ensuring they're in their right place sounding phenomenal for you so let's just be attentive and intentional and hear the praise of the lord from the young among us can we do that together in one accord is that okay praise god i know they're getting their mic set up but we're looking forward to what you guys have for us this evening one more round of applause right before they get started at home i know you're with us this is all for you as well i leave you to their tender care this is the apc choir uh children's choir in jesus name Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Let us all stand to our feet. This is the final thing for the evening. We're going to have fun. Let's stand to our feet. Do you know Jesus is the reason for the season? Yes, he is. Presenting the APC Children's Choir.
Put your hands together. Everybody, come on. You can do better than that. Come on, put your hands together for them. He is, he's the reason on this special. He is, he is. Come on, put your hands together for our children's choir. Yes. I wish I could sing. Just like how wonderful they have sung tonight. Put your hands together for everyone who has done something tonight. All right, all right. Listen, so I got a little assignment to do, but before I do that, uh, y'all may be seated. Y'all may be seated. Who, who's enjoying themselves in the house of the Lord tonight? I don't know about you, but when I hear Brother Sam sing, I feel like I, I, feel like I could sing. Then, then I try, then I realize I can't sing. He, he makes it so, so easy. Seems so, so easy. But we thank God for all those who have gone before and who has ministered unto us. Listen, I want, to, I want us to all to get involved tonight. And so, music, you can keep on playing behind me, just, you know, whatever jam you want to play, it's cool. Um, but I want, to get, I want to get a feel of those who are out there tonight um, on some of your, I'm going to say, Christmas traditions that you have in your house. What are some, so I'm going to come down, I'm going to come to you. So please don't run through the doors when you see me coming. Uh, the camera folks may have to work a little bit harder for this one. Uh, but let me try it this way first. I'm going to come down to the ground so that you don't have to come all the way, all the way up here. But just one person, well, one person who, who's not afraid to walk on water. <laughs> and, tell us, and tell us something that they do in their household on Christmas in this season. Can you come where I am? Please? No? All right. I'm going to come to you. You got to stand up, though. Baby and all. Chinese food on Christmas Eve nights. Chinese food on Christmas Eve night. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I like that one. Honey, Chinese food on Christmas Eve night. Yes. So my mom doesn't host Christmas anymore, it's my job. So on Christmas Eve, we all gather at our house, her house in our pajamas that she buys us all. And we have food and games on Christmas Eve. Wow. Pajamas, food and games on Christmas Eve. Anybody else? Brother Tony. Yes. I am the chef, the baker, the singer. All right. I am the all in my house. I do everything that you can think of. I don't exaggerate. Sometimes I do. <laughs> However, I am going to wish you all that you will join us at our house because we always have left over. I hope you heard the invitation. What he didn't say was his address. <laughs> you called me over here, sir. <laughs> Brother Earl, come down this way. So the last few years we've been um, family have been meeting. At Christmas we um, we meet one family home. We pray and um, 
old tradition like Jamaican food, oxtail, curry goat, a bit of turkey, fish, um, lasagna, um, black cake, sorrel, sauce of juice, and we sit down, discuss our family tradition, we try to um, impart certain spiritual principles to our young people, and then we, you know, that's what we do. I, I heard every. I, I heard up the oxtail. I, after that, I was like, "Amen, glory to God." Faith, All right, you come up, Faith. Come. You young, you can run up here. Um, I'll make gingerbread houses with my cousins, and my grandmother makes pepper pots. So, Pe pepper what, sir? pepper pot and she makes gingerbread houses amen so so on sunday she'll bring some a week and sell it for her and make a profit can i have someone on this side anybody on this side y'all 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 dry on christmas day hold on <laughs> so in our house christmas starts very early because uh, we start celebrating on november 1st because i find the season to be too short so, so um, yeah, so that's what we do. We have the tree up and ev everything, everything that you can think of, what you would normally cram into one week, we are celebrating from November throughout. All right. One person from this side going once. All right. Section leader. Well, you know, I just have the usual rum cake. <laughs> Whether in the sorrel or in the... In other stuff. And we also have oxtail and jerk pork and fish and... No liver, no liver, but but oxtail and uh, ham and the whole thing. But oxtail. All right. mm -hmm. yes, sir. I only heard oxtail, so. Hallelujah. What happened? We have more? All right, listen, only, only one more, only one more. She invites her friends. After we, they bring things, and after we have, <laughs> and after they normally play games, and after we go to church. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for everybody. It's who? Sorry. All right, Kareem makes the best turkey. Amen. It's interesting because it's interesting because a lot of times what happens is that we get so caught up in what we call the season and we think about the Christmas trees, we think about the gifts, we think about the games, we think about all these different things. And we gotta be careful that we do not lose the essence of what we're celebrating. We're celebrating Jesus. We're celebrating Jesus. And what we need to understand, and it's so funny, I was thinking about the other day, and I think I wrote it on one of my um, social media platforms. I said, you know, let's be careful that we don't get so excited about the season and the gift giving and the tree decorating and the gifts giving and the food that would be there. And when you hear we have service on Christmas Day, we get offended. 
I heard one preacher say, Christ did not die to create a holiday. He died to take away sins. He died to take away sins. So I want to encourage you real quickly tonight. Matthew chapter number one, verse 21 to 23. And she shall bring forth a son and you sh and you shall call his name Jesus. Say Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. So all this will be done that might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying, behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. November 19th, 2021, a movie was released entitled King Richard. Armed with a clear vision and a brazen 78 page plan, Richard Williams is determined to write his two daughters, Venus and Serena, into history. Training on the tennis courts of Compton, California, Richard shapes the girls, unyielding commitment and keen intuition. Together, the William family defies seemingly insurmountable odds and the prevailing expectation that is laid before them. I want you to know tonight that before you got to Matthew chapter one, there was a plan already written out for his destiny. You could find that in Genesis chapter three, verse number 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed, and he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. It goes on to say in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. He will come. Matter of fact, Isaiah continues to say that the Lord says, I, your God, will come and save my people. I want you to know tonight that there was no other option but to win the battle. I want you to know tonight that Jesus had no other plan but to defeat the enemy and to cause sin to no longer have power over us. I'm so glad when the Bible says that you shall have a son his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. It wasn't an option. It wasn't something that might have happened, but it was something that was going to happen. And I am so glad that he came to die so that the power of sin can now be broken over our lives. I want you to know tonight that though there was a spoken word over the life of Christ I want you to know that God has spoken a word over your life and all you got to do is walk in the purpose of God and understand that you are no longer under the power of sin but now you are free in Jesus name for he who the son set free is free indeed and you are a word that you are not going to come back to God void you're not going to go back to him empty but you are going to fulfill every promise uh, every word every sentence uh, everything that God has declared if God has promised you anything I want you to stand on your feet and thank him because the word is going to come to pass uh, the promise is going to come to pass uh, the fulfillment is going to come uh, all you got to do is continue to walk uh, continue to pray uh, continue to seek uh, continue to go forward and that word that he has spoken over you is going to set you free remain standing you shall call him Jesus for he will save his people because it was all in his name Jehovah Savior he came that he may bring life 
and have it more abundantly. I want you to know tonight, those who are online, those who are in the sanctuary, those who are watching around the world, I want you to know tonight, because he came, you have hope for tomorrow. No matter how hard it was, I'm so glad that Jesus did not throw in the towel, but he went all the way. I know, I, I, I understand we thank him for the resurrection, but he had to come to earth first for that to happen. And before he got to that cross, there are some things he had to set in place so that when he leaves, we will know what to do. I want you to know that you are a promise. I remember that song, you are a possibility. You are a promise with a capital P. I want you to know tonight that there's been promises placed over your life and you will fulfill them in the name of Jesus Christ for he will give you the strength, he will give you the power, and he will give you the anointing. Can we lift our hands for the next 60 seconds and just tell him thank you? Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for coming. 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 The world was a mess. We strayed so far from you, but yet you still decided to come. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Come on, just lift your, lift your voice to him. Change your seat into an altar. Come on. Come on, come on, lift up your voice. Let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him. He came and he did what he was supposed to do. Let's thank him. Lord, we honor you. If the wise man gave gifts, let's give him a gift of praise. Let's give him the gift of worship. Come on. Let's give him the gift of time. Let's give him a gift of finance. Let's give him the gifts. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Well, come on, if you know the song, lift up your voice and say, because... I, I can face tomorrow because he lives all fears. No, At home, you may want to join us and sing this song and in the sanctuary. He lives, I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone. Then life is worth 
the living just Amen. Before we go further and wrap this evening up, it's my delight. I'd like to say a very big thank you to those who join us this evening in the sanctuary, to those who are in line, Diane, Scotland, wherever you are in the States, you are with us. Amen. Kazani, thank you for being here. Natasha, all of you who have joined tonight, amen. It's a great delight having you with us in these, this evening of celebrating Jesus. Thank you to all those who participated. Our MC, Brother Jordan, for a great job you did. The praise team, those who work with the children. Can you put your hands together, Brother Jermaine? Amen. At this time, this was, he put this together in such a short time just to ensure that we could have something for the whole family. And so we're so glad you came tonight to celebrate and we are Looking to see you joining us this weekend. It's going to be the most phenomenal time of worship. Sunday morning, December the 25th for you and your family. And it's a family reunion. We're asking you to call up your family members. Bring everyone you can to the house of the Lord with us. I'd like to close in prayer, but we're going to also ask you at the end of this. Amen. To just stay back. I'll make one or two announcements once we get off line. If there's anyone here tonight and you're here and this season can be extremely difficult to go through. People have anniversaries of loss. Uh, we've been through two years of COVID. I'm sure lives were disrupted. Uh, some may have lost their jobs. Um, but whatever state you may be in, if you have a need and you'd like us to pray with you, just raise your hand where you are. We'd like to just pray with you, join with you. You know that the Lord is on your side. One of the first things the angel said when Jesus was born and brought good news is fear not. And we want you to know the Lord is with you. So if there's a need that you'd like to indicate by the raising of your hand, we'd be glad to pray with you. There's one hand, amen, back there. And we just want you to know God is, the Lord is with you. Last night, I had this very strange sensation while I was getting ready for church, and the Lord laid on my heart an individual that I haven't spoken to in, in many, many months. And I was actively busy doing what I should be doing, and the Lord just moved me, kept moving me. I stopped what I was doing, and I felt like I was being pestered by God. I, I had no reason to contact this person, but I just, I sent the text to let them know I'm praying for you. The Lord is with you. And I had no clue at the very particular time this person was in the hospital going to one of the most severe and complex surgery. And I want you to know the Lord is watching over your souls. He's watching over your life. That's why we're here tonight. It's not just about singing. It's not just about having a good time. I want you to know Jesus cares. He loves you. And you can cast all your cares on him. If he came down, laid aside his glory, made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a man, made himself like a servant to die for your sins, I promise you, if he died the death he died, he will with his life freely give you whatever your desire is. Would you lift your hands at this time as we pray? And when we're through, we're going to give to the Lord and I'll make a couple of announcements once, once we sign off. Father, with hands raised, we want to say thank you that you came. It was not an angel. You did not send a deputy. Lord, we know that it was you, the maker of heaven and earth, God, manifested in the flesh and you came to save us from sin. And because you came, Lord, we know that we can have new life. Lord, when we think of our own lives, our own minds, we can imagine evil that will surprise ourselves. But Lord, we're so glad that you came to give us a new mind, to take away the old heart and to give us a new heart. And if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. So Lord, we are, we're praying right now that if there's any struggling with the oldness of sin, malice and hatred and anger and rage and addictions and depression, that tonight now, Lord, you just intervene and speak peace. I speak peace where there is torment. 
I speak hope where there is despair. I speak joy where there is fear and struggle and torment, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Pray for the hands raised tonight for a special visitation. Because you came down from heaven, you will also climb into our hearts and into our situation. Manifest your presence now. Let this individual feel you and see the manifestation that you are here to make a difference in their lives. We give you praise for watching over us now, for keeping us safe this season. Cover us in our journey, we pray, and we commit our lives into your hands. Bless us all, we ask in Jesus' name. And everybody at home and in the sanctuary, say amen. God bless you to those who join us online. Thank you for being with us tonight. Amen. And we will see you on the weekend in the house of the Lord with a family member or a friend. We're going to give. And so I want to say very, amen. God bless you to those online. You can give online as you desire. But we're going to be signing out now. And we will see you soon. God bless you, everybody. And Merry Christmas if you don't, if, we're not, if you're not in this area. Thank you for tuning in. We are a rising global church with a deep care for individuals and the needs of our community. Your generous financial support and gifts in kind help us extend needed help to families locally and globally. From food on tables, support to missionaries and humanitarian relief. With more to build and more people to minister to and help in times of need, your giving will make the difference for them and for you. Here at APC, we understand that our community is our priority. And God promises that He will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out His blessings on you. So on behalf of those you help, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for your, your continued, continued support. support. If you'd like to give to APC, you can do so at apcpickering.com forward slash give. Thank you and God bless you.